Hey guys, it's Scott from Channel Zero, your digital marketing MBA, and I'm back. Uh, man, it's been, uh, ooh, let's see, it's been three weeks, I think, since I attempted to stream. I didn't have time to get in front of the computer and make a video like this, so I was uh, attempting to stream, and then it's been like four weeks since I made a video like this, so I'm sorry. Uh, man, I love doing this. I missed you guys. I love giving knowledge. I love getting the feedback, interacting with you. But, you know, I've been busy hustling and grinding and, uh, you know, things take priority. But I had a little time Friday night I wanted to give to you. So uh, let's just jump into this and do it real quick because I'm going to be honest with you. This is the third time I've recorded this video. <laughs> My computer, I don't know what's up, man. It keeps locking up and I'm so frustrated. Uh, you know, my family wants to be with me and I want to be with them. So I want to get out of the lab here, but I got to get this video done for you. So, uh, what brought this on is I want to give you a couple ways to look for a different way to market to your audience or to build your audience or to find people that's already like your audience. And what brought that on was I've got a friend who's a social media, uh, manager, social media or a marketing manager for a company. And the other day he was going through this process and I just said, bro, what are you doing? And he explained to me that he was going through the profiles of people who had liked their business page, who had open profiles of people who had open profiles and seeing what other pages they liked. He was trying to get inside of the head um, of his customers and see if there was a consistency, see if there was something he could see there. Because maybe if they all liked uh, you know, mellow yellow, he could run an ad to mellow yellow's page or something like that. He was trying to find a consistency. If they all watched, um, you know, this is us, uh, whatever show American horror story, he could market to them and possibly find some more clients just that way. So I said, man, there's, there's a much better way to do that. So I'm going to show that to you tonight and show you a couple other little tricks that go along with it. If you didn't know, this is some pretty basic stuff. I've been doing since 2012, 2013, I think, when I learned it. Um, but, you know, I was surprised as a marketing manager he didn't know. So I thought, man, a lot of you guys might not know. So I want to make sure that that I show you. So I'm going to do this from an area that I really know it at. You can apply it to any industry. Um, as you guys know, I do T-shirts. One of my niches actually is coffee, T-shirts, mugs, gifts, et cetera. So I just put in the search bar on Facebook, coffee shirts, and voila, we get these pages that pop up, right? look at coffee drinkers gear and for the sake of time I'm not going to go look at the page but let's say I click on it and I go to it and I say wow they've got 30,000 plus people that like the page let's be honest they named it coffee drinkers gear not coffee drinkers memes not coffee drinker quotes photos gear I mean this sounds like a page that's going to try to sell product and they've got 30,000 people who know they're trying to sell them product who follow the page well, I want to show some ads to these people because I sell coffee gear. I sell coffee t-shirts. I sell coffee mugs. So how do I get an ad in front of them? So of course, what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump over to ads manager and then I'm going to put them in my detailed targeting coffee drinkers gear and voila, nothing. So for whatever reason, Facebook won't allow me to choose them as part of my detailed targeting, that page. Now, it doesn't really have to do with the fact they only have 30,000. I've targeted pages with less than 30,000. The less followers they have, the less likely they are going to appear up, appear uh, in this detailed targeting uh, search that you can market to. Uh, but I've also seen pages, I don't understand the algorithm. I've also seen pages that have millions of followers and they don't show up in the detail targeting. So when you run into this issue, what do you do? Well, there's a key little search phrase that you can do, and it's pages liked by people who like, and then you add in the page name of what you're looking for. So pages liked by people who like, and then I add coffee drinkers gear. When I search for this phrase, this is what's going to pop up. And these are the pages. Oh, these are the pages liked by people who like coffee drinkers gear. I'm going to click, uh, collect. I'm going to hit select all or see all. It's going to populate a page of the 
most popular pages that people who follow coffee drinkers gear also follow. So I'm going to kind of look at this and try to find one that I think might be interesting to run ads to or two or three. Um, sun gazing, kitchen fun. That might be good. Love what matters. Put a smile on my face. Loading more results. My slow computer. Okay, so I'm back. It locked up again. This video is going to be choppy. And, and uh, you may... You ever seen a grown man cry? You want to see a grown man cry on a YouTube video? So I'm going to go through these. Here's one. Uh, you know, 12 tomatoes. 8 million people. That's great. I don't know what 12 tomatoes is, but it sounds kind of interesting. So let's plug that in. We couldn't find coffee drinkers gear, but... You got to be able to spell. There it is. Look, 12 tomatoes. So I know a lot of people that follow that coffee drinkers page also follow 12 tomatoes. Um, so that's something I could run ads to people of 12 tomatoes. I could narrow the audience further. People who Facebook knows have an interest in coffee and also follow the page 12 tomatoes. And I've got 4 million people. So that's just one idea, one angle that you could hit that at. Got about another minute, so let me show you something else. This will help you uh, do what my friend was not doing. So the same concept, I'm sure you figured this out. Pages like by people who like coffee dr uh, drinkers gear. Well, you can do that for your business page. And then you can already see the most popular pages. So if I do pages liked by people who like Channel Zero Marketing, my page, which isn't a lot of you because I'm always working on someone else's Facebook page and not growing my own. That's the nature of my business. But, you know, I can start to go in here and see what else they like. So you don't have to open up everybody's profile, my friend, and I won't name your name as long as you buy me lunch next week. If you don't buy me lunch, I'm editing this video, and I'm going to put your name in it. I'm playing, dog. Uh, anyhow, so, you know, here are the pages. You can go see what else your customers are following, and that will help you get an idea of who to target them because if they all like a certain And I'm back. It did it again. But, so, right back to what I was saying, you know, these are some pages that people uh, who follow my page also follow these pages. What you'll see is, that, you know, what if all your customers like a certain band? What if they all like a certain TV show? What if they all like a certain product? What if they all like a certain vacation? And then also you find out it's something you like. It's a band you like. Wouldn't you like to just have customers that like the things you like? I mean, you'll be able to see some of that stuff. And then so you can start targeting, um, you know, Rage Against the Machine or Puff Daddy or, or Church Planner Magazine or whatever they like as well. Um, so let me give you one extra freebie that you can do. Um, this one, let's see, pages liked by people who like channel zero marketing. Let's go something a little broader. Uh, people who like, here we go. I already done this recently. Coffee drinkers gear. So we're talking about the, the page itself, right? That we talked about earlier and also live in Cincinnati so I can find people and for whatever reason there's various reasons you want to do this so right now I'm in a program called royalty uh, gems and it's a it's a program that with proximity marketing and it's pretty new so if I want to see who else in Cincinnati has gotten into that well they're for sure probably going to be following the Royalty Gym Facebook page. So I just need to put in there people who like Royalty Gym and live in Cincinnati. And I'm going to know who else in Cincinnati is hip to this new thing. Um, you know, if you're, there's there's so many different ways you could use that. And I'm going to leave that up to your creativity. I'm not going to get into it. Uh, but if you're looking for a particular type of person and you want to start connecting with business owners, um, you know, if there's a page, let's say you're trying to find restaurant managers or restaurant owners or salon managers, salon owners, and there's a page, uh, you know, salon owner page, who's going to follow that page? You know, my mom's not going to follow that page. My wife's not going to follow that page. My son's not going to follow that page. 
people who are salon owners or managers or wannabes are going to follow that page. So I want to find the salon owners in Cincinnati. I'm going to put people who like salon owners marketing page and live in Cincinnati. Then you know what I can do from my page or from my personal page? Add friend, add friend, add friend. That way if I'm putting stuff in my stream that is talking about I market to salons or I market to uh, whoever restaurants, whatever I'm going after, those people are now on my friends list and and there's a good chance they're going to start seeing that. So you can set up a whole separate page for that. Again, I'm not going to get into the details, but I wanted you guys to know, like my buddy, that all these search options work um, and exist and you should be utilizing them. They can give you a lot of information, save you a lot of time uh, for data mining, trying to dig out and figure out what people are into and what they like. So I hope you find that helpful. Hit the subscribe button. Leave a comment. Send me an email. I've picked up half a dozen, I think, clients from these YouTube videos. And I'm super grateful for that, you guys. Um, it's, it's just been an awesome experience. So you need, you got questions. You got needs. Uh, reach out to me. Uh, I would love to help and serve if I can. If we're not a good fit, I'm part of a really big organization of, of about 60 really active marketers. And I could tie you in with somebody anywhere just about in the world, um, definitely in the U.S., Canada, uh, working remotely, though, anywhere in the world, that, that we would be able to help you out. I guarantee that. So appreciate it, guys. Hope that's a blessing. Hope you have a great weekend. And we'll do this again soon.